Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in again to another episode of CivilianTacticalWeapons.com. Today's episode is going to actually be covering ankle holsters. I want to do an update on a Phobos holster that I uh, talked about, recommended a while ago. And uh, now that it's been probably close to about a year, I'd just like to be able to do a, a, a follow-up one just because of some uh, interesting results. So the Phobos holster is an ankle holster. Um, it connects uh, pretty simple. It's got a single strap that you loop around. And that's about it. So it sits about there. Empty gun. Sits there in your holster. Put your jeans over it. Don't really notice it. What I want to tell you though is I've been wearing it now for quite a while. And uh, about some complaints. So the problem is you have a bone that's uh, right here on the side of your foot. Um, pretty much where uh, your leg connects to your foot. Now keep in mind I have no medical knowledge so if you're trying to ask me what the fancy medical term for these things are you're asking the wrong person. Um, anyways, um, if you go ahead and reach down, grab your own foot on the side of your foot, you'll feel that little bone that kind of protrudes off to your uh, uh, to the inside of your of your leg. Um, that little bone there ends up rubbing. Let me get a good shot of this. Ends up rubbing into this area here. Um, the problem you're going to have is see these little metal, or actually little plastic. Uh, these will actually start rubbing up against that bone and it becomes very uncomfortable. Your option is you can try to tighten this up and then lift it either a little bit higher. Uh, but then the problem is that when you start walking around, like for example, walk around a mall for about a half hour, um, this just slides back down. Uh, it won't stay in place. The other thing is you can actually have it uh, sitting lower and loose at the bottom so it kind of just rattles around the bottom of your feet. Um, your shirt, your, your pants are still long enough to cover it, but that again, that's uncomfortable too. Um, this was an old holster that I originally started with. Um, it's a uh, made by WRB. Uh, it's just a generic, incredibly generic holster uh, that'll fit just about uh, any compact pistol. Um, in this case, it fits the Glock fairly well. The only thing I didn't like about this holster, although it's very comfortable, I didn't like the uh, um, the release system. As you can see here, this is just kind of held in place with the uh, the plastic kind of squeezing the gun. Where this one has a uh, a strap that comes off the back, so you got to pull it up, snap the strap, and pull it out. Um, how much longer is that really versus the other? Not much. But the thing you have to think about when you're doing an ankle carry is it already is in a very um, uncomfortable place. I'm not recommending an ankle carry is a is the best way to carry your gun. Um, this really comes down to an issue where you're dressed up very formal, you can't keep your pants untucked and keep it on your, on your strong side dominant uh, hip, which is the most ideal way to, way to carry a gun. But the thing that is nice about this is, regardless of where you position this, it's got some padding and stuff, um, it has this higher strap. And what happens is you can actually put this above your uh, muscle on the back of your leg. So what happens is you have this sitting down towards your ankle, have this upper, and you can adjust this and tighten it down to the point where it is very comfortable to carry because you don't feel it. You can actually tighten this down to the point where this is holding it up just a little bit higher. You can adjust it around so nothing's uh, uh, rubbing that bone and uh, it's very comfortable. Um, ideally what I wanted was this strap on this holster. So I just want you to be aware of, for any of you who are thinking about doing uh, um, uh, ankle carry, this is a, this is just, I want you to be aware of some things. Um, if you've never done it before, uh, I want you to be aware of these issues. So if you are looking for a holster, um, keep in mind I sell these Phobos holsters, so I figured I'd try one of these out. Uh, it was made specifically for the Glock 36. However, it just ends up being not a very comfortable holster. So. Um, yeah, I can uh, put up with this holster for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, 
I can't go an entire day with this holster. Um, it's just become uh, kind of a nuisance now as I try to wear it longer and longer. Um, it's just not comfortable. Um, this little cheap holster, um, which is just a, uh, a generic holster, it's not custom fit for the Glock 36, ends up being a lot more comfortable. So if you are in the market looking for holsters, make sure if you're going to look specifically at an ankle holster, that you get one that has this little upper strap to actually put around your leg muscle. Um, you're going to find this will be a, incredibly more comfortable for you if you want to carry it uh, in a very long, uh, long period of time. So. Anyways, uh, if you have any questions, please email me at info at civiliantacticalweapons.com, and I hope to see you in a future episode.